This tutorial is dedicated to people using Boris Graffiti and Corel Video Studio 6. If you created a project in the standalone version of Boris Graffiti, you can't just simply render these out. You have to follow a certain procedure. And the question is, is how do you export this as a movie file? Well, you come up to File, come down to Export, and the only option you have is an image file. Well, that's not going to work. It's a pretty simple thing to do, though, okay? What I'm going to do is I'm going to come up and I'm going to save my settings as. Okay. I'm just going to go to my desktop. And I'm going to save this project as an example. So I now have a file on my desktop. Okay. If you already know the location of your file, you don't have to save it to another location at all. I'm just doing this as an easy example to show you what you need to do in order to get this into Corel. One of the most important things you need to know in order to produce this is your project settings. Okay, open your edit tab, come down to project settings. Okay, here is all your project settings. It tells you the size of the video you created, the frame rate, and the duration. You're going to need all this information. That's why it's actually easier just to work within Corel when you're working with Boris Graffiti. It, it avoids all the confusion. There are some advantages to working in standalone from your computer, but that's not what we're dealing with today. You could write all this stuff down, but rather than write all this down, if you're using Windows, there's a pretty easy way to do this. I'm using Windows 8, but there is a tool called the Snipping Tool. Okay Typing in my search, I get to SNI and I'm in my Snipping Tool. I'm going to use that come over to my snipping tool. I'm going to do a rectangular snip. I'm just going to select around this information. I'm going to come up here to save it. I'm going to save it to my desktop. And I'm going to call this my Boris settings. Close my snipping tool. Okay, and here is my JPEG image on my desktop. Okay, so with that being done, I'm going to say OK to close that. I can close out of Boris Graffiti. In order to find the snipping tool on Windows 8, you simply open up the search box, type in snipping tool, come over to your snipping tool app, come down here, you can do a rectangular snip, some other snips, and what's nice about this is it just saves you all the trouble of saving anything that's on your screen if you only need a still image. I just wanted to point that out to you because it's so cool. Okay, I am now in Corel. First thing I'm going to do is I'm just going to click on here. I'm going to bring in this JPEG image. Okay, that's going to simplify setting this up. My duration is 5 seconds. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to come over here and click on the graphics. I'm just going to drag any color under the sun. And grab a big, bright, nasty looking thing. Okay, we know we need 5 seconds. To hit exactly 5 seconds is kind of tricky. So I'm just going to drag it a little bit further. I'll grab my slider. I'm going to come back, watch my timer. Stop at exactly 5 seconds. I'm going to cut it. Select this portion, delete it. We now have a five second clip. Okay. From this point, all I've got to do is go into my Boris FX, drag this into my timeline, come up to Options, Customize Filter, Advanced Mode. Okay, now up here, this always does this to me. See how file just lit? Edit. As I swipe through here, these light up. That's just the way graffiti works. It does it to me on my Windows 7 machine with a different version. If you can't find this information, that's why. You swipe up here and it'll show up. 
It just acts funny. It's a little quirky. Anyway, but what we want to do is we want to bring in some new settings. So I'm going to select open settings. It's going to say do you want to save the settings? No. Okay. I'm going to go to my desktop. Here is my settings. I'm going to click on this. I'm going to open it. And just like that your project has been imported. I'm simply going to select apply. It has now been applied to this purple There's your effect. Simply come up to share. You're going to create a video file. Now, you're going to want to create it the same size as your project. You could create it smaller, but sometimes it acts a little funny if you try to change things around. Another critical setting is the frame rate. If you get the frame rate wrong, the keyframes cannot be interpreted correctly. This will throw off your effect. So just be sure to get that right. That's why we took the snapshot. Create video file, MPEG-4, whatever you want to do, Windows, and simply produce your video. Hope that helps. I want to thank you for tuning in. Take care. Until next time.